Welcome back to 610 Bricks. I'm Cody, and in today's video, we're going to be checking out this LEGO City grocery store. We're going to find out if this is going to be a great addition to your collection. Looking at the box art, this thing looks phenomenal, and it also comes with a LEGO road plate. Inside the box, you're going to find five minifigures, four of these poly bags, and then you're also going to find two manuals and a small sticker sheet. Now, just like anybody else, I hate stickers, but this only comes with five, so I can live with it. So here we actually have the finished product of the grocery store. The first thing I want to do, I just want to say that this thing is pretty awesome, all the details that are in it, but it comes here with five of these minifigures. And I want to start here and actually show you each one of them. So the first one here that we have is just this little girl. And she actually really reminds me of like the series 24 figure that just came out, uh, the little girl with the rocking horse. She has pretty much the same hairstyle and kind of the same face just she has a different outfit on than the one that came with the rocking horse but overall she's pretty cool she has some nice printing on her and then she only has the single-sided printed face but she's pretty neat but also you've kind of seen her before now this next guy i thought was actually really cool so he's one of the shoppers as well he comes with this little shopping list that has scribble on there so as you can see here he actually has one of these prosthetic legs which is pretty cool that lego actually molded it right in so it doesn't come off I thought originally it was something that came off until I actually took him out of the box. So this guy's shirt's pretty cool. He has a lot of printing on there and some details. He has that grocery list. The hair piece is actually pretty cool. And then the printing moves over to the back, but he also is just a single sided uh, head figure as well. So moving on, we have the first grocery store worker here. And this is the uh, lady in the pea suit. So she comes with this little sign that says be happy on there. So that's pretty good. It's pretty funny. And then she has this pea outfit on. She also has a hair piece as well. Um, I don't remember what I did with the hair piece. So I do not have it with me. Um, but she does have a dual sided head. So she has this really happy face. And then she has just this regular like, you know, just regular happy face here. But it's more excited on the back. But she has the printing on the front there and she has a little bit of that shine as you can see when the camera goes around on the necklace which i think lego is really adding this into more and more figures so i think that's pretty cool but i really like what she looks like with the p on and she actually goes really well with the series 24 karat minifigure as well um, they would be a cool addition to the outside of the store to kind of bring in the guests so the next one that we have here is actually the uh, forklift driver and she has this awesome fluorescent yellow vest on or fluorescent green really um, the safety vest and it has the orange and also that really shiny reflective material on there she has the uh, blue gloves on white baseball cap with the hair piece and then she also has two heads as well looks like she's pretty serious and then on the back she's smiling but i guess it really depends on how you want to have them but i just figured you know, it's a grocery store. People are trying to be happy. So I put the smiling face on everybody. And the last one that we have here is the guy that works the register or the guy that stack, stocks the shelves. And he has on this really cool outfit too. He has like a plaid shirt on underneath of the apron here. It looks like they put a little bit of print on the name tag, which is kind of nice because I know I've said something about that before. Um, but you can't really make out what his name is, but it's, it figures for the scale size. And if you go on to the back, you can get a really good look at this plaid shirt. And then he also only has a single sided face on him as well. But overall, I think these are some really cool characters, especially if you're going to add them into a Lego city. So moving on, we have these uh, 
two auxiliary builds here. We have this small little car and you could pretty much put anybody in there and it's electric. So, you know, they're trying to go green and Lego showing their kind of, uh, you know, keeping up with the times and everybody wants these electric vehicles. So this one's really small and you can fit one figure in here um, and the roof comes off and you can sit the figure down in the bottom here. So moving on to the next one here, we actually have this forklift and the forklift's pretty cool. So the forks move up and down and there's that rubber band on here. So you can see as I, as I move it down, it stretches and it'll actually return back to the home position. And then it has the uh, little, little flashing light on the top. And then this whole entire cabin opens up so you can fit the minifigure in there. You can either sit them, sit them down or stand them up. I think they actually look better standing up than sitting down. It looks like they have better field of view when they're driving the forklift, which kind of makes sense. So these were pretty easy builds. I mean, small little brick builds, but they're really cool and a great addition to this set. So it also comes with a bunch of like these uh, containers that have different things in here and they're all set up to actually be lifted up by the forklift. So you can see they have the plate on the bottom and if you drive the forks in, it'll actually hold those plates there so then it's not gonna slide off when the forklift's bouncing around. So I thought that was pretty cool and all of the crates actually have that. And one of the last pieces it comes with is this little shopping cart here and it's filled with a bunch of food and everything else that you would find in a grocery store like it has some of these fruits and vegetables so moving on to the grocery store itself this thing's actually pretty cool so it comes equipped with a lego road plate on the side here that you can add it has the uh, parking sign on the side and then it has some really nice landscaping details out front um, the fresh sign with the carrot is pretty cool so the fresh and the open are pretty much the only stickers that are on here and then the parking is actually printed on and then you have these solar panels on the roof and those are actually printed tiles as well so this carrot moves up and down the front doors swing open as well and as you can see they have a little bit of detail on the base as well with these entry blocks coming in they have these nice tile pieces so they did finish it off pretty well and on the outside it looks like it has like a bottle return which is kind of cool i guess if you're going to cash in your bottles and stuff like that you can also bring the forklift in and pick them up. And then moving on to the back of the store here, when we rotate it around, you'll see that there's some pretty cool details in here. So it has this little um, area here where you actually load this crate into. So if you had the crate and the forklift, you would push the, uh, the crate through here and it would come in to the grocery store. And you could actually do it the other way. I just put it in backwards. So when you put the crate through, it comes in and it slides right in and then the uh, the gates close up and you can also send stuff back out to the forklift so it opens both ways. So inside you can see it has a little bit of detail as well. You have like the bottles over here, the fresh bread section. You also have like fish, uh, so you have seafood and then you have the register in the front here. And then if we spin it around and we take a look at the inside of the shelves, you can see it has like some fruit juice, some ketchup, some milk, uh, a couple things of honey. And then I believe this is like the ATM machine where you can uh, put your bottles in to recycle your bottles when you walk in the door. So overall, I think this thing is really great. I mean, the exterior stuff is pretty, uh, you know, it's pretty plain, but it does have some lights on there. But I really like what they did with this full face window on the front and how they kind of got these angles to make it look like um, it's actually formed glass, even though these are just regular square panels that they put in here. So anyway, guys, this is set number 60347, and it came with 404 pieces and then the five minifigures like you saw. Um, it also comes with these two auxiliary builds like we talked about here, um, and it retails for $60. So I think it's pretty cool value, and it would definitely make a great addition to any LEGO city. I mean, it would probably look pretty good next to modular buildings um, because the scale's decent. I mean, it's definitely a small grocery store. As you can tell, when you go in, there's not much shelving. So I think the scale is pretty good. You can also remove the road plate if you want to fit it next to modular buildings or in between. Um, but I kind of like it because it's a parking area and also somewhere for the forklift and the car to park just like this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you actually like this set. If you do, you could definitely still pick it up. It's available on lego.com. You can also find it at any local retailer right now, but I'm just gonna zoom in and show you guys some of these details. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Let's start building.